<laughs> oh my, I just recorded a video and it was... I thought I was recording a video and I didn't realize it's not. Ah. Well, to summarize, yes. I feel like the species are developing gradients, smoothing out our gradients, refining them, so that we can express gradually, more accurately, in the outer world, in the physical world, what we feel in the inner world. We are developing this precision, this, this refinement, and we are refining. And an example that I feel about this is I see that there are manifest there is value. There's there's the feeling of value that we have For instance, I see a bicycle and I feel, oh what is the value of that thing? It has a certain it has a certain value feeling inside of me. And in our experience as we move along with things that have value, we it, it is important that we be able to express this value for many reasons. One of them being uh, trade. Trade, barter, now known as buying and selling. And so I imagine how in the past when we had things of value and wanted to barter between ourselves, between us people. We would we could for instance I could see someone having five chickens and, and I want more chickens because I don't have chickens so I want chickens and the person who has the chickens wants a goat and I have a goat and so if I have a goat and, and if we have chickens and, and we both agree that those five chickens have more value to me than my goat at this point and to him the my goat has more value to him than the five chickens at this point then we can agree to trade. You say, oh, okay, well, there's a... There, there's an unexploited gradient there that can create flow if we just move it. Like, okay, more value for you, more value for me. Great. And so trading is working, and so we were able to express value to say, okay, a goat, uh, five chickens. Yeah, that's good. That is expression of value. And then at some point I realized, well, at some point I realized, I realized that at some point it must have happened that perhaps I had the goat and I was, and I moved around and there was a campfire and I go to the campfire and someone has food and I would like to get some of that food because I'm hungry, but I don't, and, and, and I don't have food. And this person says, okay, yeah, he's okay with sharing food with me. Uh, but once my goat to be returned. And then that's not it's not uh, simple to that becomes a problem because my physical manifestation of a goat of, of value in a goat is it's not visible. It's a unit. And it's hard to say I want to keep it your food is worth a quarter of a goat. You want to split it in four? Nope, it doesn't work that way. Goat needs all four legs. And body to complete within. And usually it's worth when it has value when it's alive. So, uh, what I'm saying is this, when this indivisibility is, a, is kind of a, it's an example of how a gradient is not quite yet smooth we can express 
one goat and brings for zero goats, but it's not express something in the middle. And my my impression is that to a, a, a fairly elegant solution to that was money. So I said, okay, okay, well, how about we actually instead of just relying on things to have value for us and us moving and going around, how about we make our own value? How about we manifest ourselves physically the value that we want, that that will work as we want it, like in a more refined manner? And it just requires a lot of agreement because everyone needs to realize like, okay, yeah, this thing that seems a bit odd, small thing, made of metal, oh, what is it? that actually represents value, that other people will accept that trust. That trust is, that's quite a remarkable achievement, quite a remarkable development, I would say. Because at some point, because, and then, the units were not goats, or potatoes, or tomatoes, or, or, I don't know, time spent for protection, it was, units. It was units of things. And so that was a refinement of creating from the things that were just the world, from objects, to a more mm. not mm, but uh, more refinement of things. Yeah, so there's things like coins. And then we can say, oh, okay, I want to buy something with, that's worth three coins, then I get the three coins. Four points, it's four points. But then in the middle, what happens bits in the middle? Uh, it's in between three and four. And now we have evolved to the point where in the society, banks and institutions and everyone considers very um, money in, in very minute steps. There is the concept of the unit, usually the, the money, the cent, the franc, the euro. The, the dollar, the franc, or the euro, and then there's a fraction of that which, is, which are the cents or the whatever it is it's called in each locale. And then institutions actually consider doing finer than that for the for the finer transactions. It's just you consider fractions of fractions, very minute fractions of money. And that I see as a development of our of our refinement of money. How, how we are refining our expression of value, our quantification of value. And I see that much of what we have is, much of what we do, much of what we learn is towards refining, refining our expression of, of what we have inside. For instance, I see that at times we have emotions that we want to express to others. There is the emotion of gratitude, and its expression can range, the way I see it, from the extreme of say, of, of absolutely nothing, of even there being no expression of gratitude, not even a, not even a eye contact, not even an acknowledgement of it, zero expression, to the extreme of Giving myself my own power, giving, giving honoring the other person and accepting. I don't accept me. Full, full of it. A complete surrender to that other person. Complete. A complete offering of the a complete acknowledgement of, of, of how good it is. Gratitude. And usually we have the standard thing in the middle, which is this, uh, the, the usual expression. We, we as a society, I see, I see we, have, we have settled into a usual, normal thing. To say, oh, okay, can you do something for me? Yeah. And acknowledgement. That's the role that gratitude plays socially as well. The acknowledgement of something having happened.
And this is one example that I see of one of our feelings that we have we have not refined quite well yet. We, we, there, we do have many ways of saying it. We can like just look at the other person, do a little nod, and we have expressions that the body expressions. We can bow. We can say a thousand things in some way. May God, may God repay you. Or you are an angel. Many expressions, and they have different intensities. And, you, and yet, I don't. I see still that it's not quite refined. It's still a bit lumpy. Our expression of emotions can be lumpy. It's, I feel that's how miscommunication happens very often. There is an expression inside of us we're trying to give it. A expression. We're trying to express it to show it to the other person, and it is and it is misinterpreted. Probably because we cannot quite we cannot state exactly what they're trying to say. Sometimes, sometimes, for instance, it's, it's, we have emotions emotions stuck together. Like, for instance, the, the the emotion of disagreement is very closely linked, can be very closely linked in people to the emotion of anger. And then perhaps we're expressing our disagreement, but it comes along with a, a little impulse of anger, and that can be misinterpreted as aggression by the other person, and, and, and then defensiveness can, can pop up when, the, when perhaps the other person did not mean it not mean aggression, he just meant disagreement. But because it's still kind of lumpy and unrefined, it comes out, it just both come out. So I see that as part of our growth, the refinement of our expression. In expression of gratitude, expressions of disagreement, expressions of anger expressions of lust like what is what is can can I reflect truly what is inside can I reflect exactly what I want and I and my feeling is that unlimited precision is not the universal ideal oh my that window looks spectral. I wonder if it's visible on the phone. I see it as spectral. Zoom, zoom. Wait. Oh, yeah. I am watching this right direction? I think so. I got confused with between front camera and back camera. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, on Zoom, here you go. Refinement, refinement of our expression. The question I feel is how, can we clearly reflect what is inside of us onto the outside world? And precision is one way that, it, that, it, that we can refine it. Accuracy is another. For accuracy, what we, what we require is uh, correct identification and discernment, knowing oneself well, to realize, oh, okay, I feel that, oh, yeah, that is, is that its agreement or is, is that anger? And, oh, that's anger, where does that come from? Is it, is it just because I don't like the guy, like, ah. Oh. Bit of a look, bursty. Uh, bursty expression, bursty urgy expression, like, I don't, don't like the guy, I don't like the idea, or perhaps it comes from somewhere else. Thus, perhaps this other person remind me of another person that, that, that caused hurt for me in the past, or is this perhaps... <clears throat> or 
person that I'm that I still hold anger from work and uh, and it needs a release and so it's just coming along because it because it wants to go somewhere it's just a flow it's just some flow of anger the question is where am I where does it go what is it what is it that I have inside And this is my feeling because when I feel that I am expressing truly what is inside, there is peace, there is calm, there is an smoothness of flow between the outside and the inside. When I feel unable to <clears throat> to accurately reflect what is inside of me in the outer world I feel an imbalance I feel something gets stuck like the level inside is like this but the level outside is like this then how do I how do I how can I uh, resolve that discrepancy um and then I'm trying to express and maybe I'm I, this is my this is my truth and then I express this and I'm like oh, but it's not quite and then maybe it's over here and it, oh, it's, it's still no it doesn't sound like and, and the truth is over here like trying to wait in but I, maybe I just don't have I don't have a tool yet I don't have a, a, a form of expression that allows me to express exactly that um, state inside of myself and that often is what feels uncomfortable when there is like oh there's something I need to tell you there's something I have to say like, you know I've been wanting to tell you this like there, there's a discrepancy there's a discrepancy between the inside of us and the outside It's like, ah, oh, if there's a blockage there, that, that can go really, really strong. Like, this is what I feel and what I'm expressing. It's like, this is like, ah, oh, can I just put it down there? But then things like shame also accumulate and then it's harder to find it. The point is, may we find true expressions, accurate, precise expressions for our internal state. in the physical world, in the outer world. When we do that, we can equalize the flow, equalize the pressures, flows, temperatures <laughs> between our flows. And feel peace, feel peace. Finding openness. Ah. That's how I see it. We're developing gradients in our humanity. In our humanity. As each of us human beings, we are developing gradients of expression. Another example is words. I use this example often. So it, it's true. It, it, is, it is our tool for expression of meaning meaning like arrows pointing somewhere that 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 there are things and it has evolved there are more words more words more words make more things and put, make, put words on them and put words on top of them because they're not enough and they're not enough and we continue to like make more and make more because there is a need for it there, 
And why is there a need for them? Because there is something inside that wants expression and it has not quite found one in the current vocabulary. It's good because it quite found it. But it's like, I want to express this right there in my notes. But what I have is only this or this or this or this. And it's like, but it's not quite any of this fork. And I just like, ugh, put something in the middle. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. humans we continue making words we borrow from we borrow we take them from other languages we find them in in our own languages we create more we use references to people to make more words just because we need more words need more words because we're refining our meaning the meanings that we have in our in our in our state the knowledge that we accumulate across the world it, that's compiled in our humanity and it and to be able to continue to hold it as knowledge it requires being given a, a word or words and that, that is a new expression of meaning all of that it requires refining 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 of gradients uh. What is the feeling of a what is the feeling of watching a sunset as it <clears throat> as the sun sinks below the horizon? Just seeing it from the calm feeling. Being able to, then there's then one can also be, be more precise and say, well what what if I instead What is the feeling of the sunset? Uh, it's pink and orange hues. Yellowish, a yellowish line at the very base, right next to the horizon. With an orange aura around the sun. Light orange. from an emotion like it also evokes an emotion and the emotions that are evoked by these two different descriptions are similar but one actually I feel that the second one is like it's kind of, it, it's a sub type of the first one where the first one was like oh it's a sunset it's, uh, it's beautiful I saw the concept of what if you just really try to express, try to evoke the emotion that you felt in a particular moment, with a particular situation. It, it, is, a, it is a different emotion. It, it's more specific. And we, of course, we may want to express these emotions. That's all up to us. It's just that in our experience, in our life, that's all we are doing all the time. We are expressing ourselves into the world. And our self is comprised by our inner state. And I feel the more we can accurately express ourself, the inner state of our being, 
of our mind, of our, of our body, of our, of our emotions, of our intuition, the more freely we can express that into the world. I feel the more peace we have. Yeah. Not a rule, isn't it? <clears throat> Correlation. express accurately, we require tools of expression in this world, in this physical world, in this physical world. And we can choose what, a, <laughs> what to use our, as our expression. Our beings will be drawn to the kind of to the tools, to the, to the form, to the media, to the style that we wish to express with, it will be drawn. Painters are, are drawn to their art. Writers are drawn to their art. I think politicians are, are attracted to their art. Perhaps, yes. All of our roles are what we choose. And we are expressing ourselves. And at times also through us, we are expressing the state of our society, the state of our humanity. How do we express? Mm. One tool of expression I find I have an affinity to is words. Words are, are fun. <laughs> they are fun. They are refinable. They are Precise, they can be made precise. They are usually very consistent. They can be very consistent. There's a, the impression I have of it is spoken words or, yeah, given words have usually that have less room for interpretation than other modes of expression, such as. Uh, Painting, for instance. Painting can evoke very rich emotions very, and very rich impressions, truly, in others. My feeling is that they are, their scope is wider. It's, it's not, it's not precise. It is, It kind of like paints inside and waits for for ourselves to to change to to see what its reaction is and then find our own find our own um, state via that impression. Yeah, it's a bit more, it's a bit more holistic, more like, oh, I'm going to take the whole thing. Music a little bit like that, but music does have precision. Sometimes. And then words, words are some of the most precise I've found. In our society, and I, I like it. Others express through song. Others express their food. 
others express through construction, through invention, through design, through nurturing others. Harnessing the energy of others as well. Harnessing and coordinating in leadership. That is also an expression, I feel. So it is. <clears throat> that refining our gradients, refining our expression, allows us allows space for joy and peace. My feeling is that I feel joy when I'm able to equalize the states between the inner and the outer. I feel joy in that expression, in that equalization of pressure levels between the inner and the outer. And once expressed, once equalized, I feel peace. And that is why refining gradients seems like a concept important to remember. Refining our gradients, refining our spectrums, spectra, spectri, our spectra, refining our spectra. <clears throat> allows us richer expression, allowing us to enrich, well, to, to show a richer part of ourselves, a richer version of ourselves. And by doing so, we come back to ourselves and we realize, oh, even past the richest richness, there's even more that I want to go on to express. We are drawn to expressing because when we do it, it feels joyful and later peaceful. That is my, my impression of refining our expression of the gradients that we learn to navigate. And I feel that in doing in that in doing so in in finding our true expression we develop we get to know ourselves. More truly navigate ourselves. And by knowing our truth, We fall into extremes and excesses less frequently. We 
feel, we don't feel the need to fall into one extreme or to the other because because we know our path our true path our true state which is neither of these extremes most often <laughs>